Yo, yo, get my dick back. Nope. <laughs> Stay with me for the rest of the session. <laughs> but no, how many of y'all fellas have ever masturbated by accident? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you ever been home alone watching Bang Bros? <laughs> you just said to yourself, like, you know what? I ain't getting out of the vibe. You know, you're just sitting there, 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 you're just you're like, oh, you you start touching all parts of your body to turn yourself on, you like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, alright, fast forward. Everybody think the doggy style, you take your shit out. Now notice, us guys, we don't say it out loud, but we say, I'm gonna come the same time this dude on the porno is gonna come. <laughs> so you just sit in the air and you think you hear something. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, you see the guy, you about to come, you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> ah, you're like, y'all gotta find something, ah. Ah, you see something, you're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Jordan. A few days later, your mom like, yo, where my shirt at? You're like, all right, let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find it. No, but I love my mama. And there's one thing I always learned that was always hard to do is growing up in a middle class home. It was always rough being an African American. I'm lying. Sir. True, right? Sir. You always at the age of 13. You always paying bills. Like, I remember when I got my first job working with kids, my mom told everybody in the damn family, she like, oh, I'm so proud of my baby. He got a job, he's staying out of trouble. And it's that one line you don't want to hear, he can help me pay rent. I'm like, damn, bitch, get this. Like, bro, shit, I ain't even paid. Hey, yeah. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, yo, I got paid. I'm like, ah, I'm about to get this Xbox, I'm about to get this PlayStation. My mom come walking in. Listen. I, 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 know you, I know you like the, the Xbox, I know you like the PlayStation, I know you like the sports games, but uh, rent due on Friday. I'm like, all right, all right, I'll give you $400. Go on the Foot Locker. I'm just like, yeah, I'm about to get these Jordans, these Nikes. I get a call. Hello? Yeah, um, I know you like your Nikes. <laughs> I know you like your Jordans. But uh, rent due in two days. All right, all right, cool. Let me give my mom $200. I get a call from a girl from she's like, I was like, yo, listen, shh. Look, I'm gonna take you to the movies, we're gonna go to the hotel, we're gonna go to my nights, but I can't really tell too loud because my mom won't keep asking me for rent money. I already paid this bitch nine times, so she just keeps telling me. She's like, so she's like, she's My mom come in, she's like, listen, I know, I know you got your little girlfriend. I know you got your little girlfriend, I know you wanna go to the movies. But rent due today. I'm like, well, goddamn, I done paid your ass nine times this month. What the fuck? I done helped you pay your friends' rent and all that. Fuck. Damn. But no, in all seriousness, I always tell people, for our generation, a bond is always better than a title. No lie. Your mom will always have your back no matter what. Because as soon as you sit there and you think you found a nice babe, boo, girlfriend, she'll snitch on you. It'd be the CIA or FBI knocking on your door.